kids to do the movements and the choreography. That is a myth and a big mistake. You cannot call yourself a praise dance leader and have no clue on how to dance. Dance is very important and if you want to continue um, doing dance pieces and doing choreography, it's going to require you to have some type of dance experience. Um, tip number one, take a class once a week or twice a month. Tip number two, there are so many video YouTube um, stuff of dance choreography and dance movement that you should be able to research and mimic some type of the moves. I would suggest that you copy and mimic the whole song but pick out certain moves that you like and study them and perfect them and practice them and then take it to your dance team and then practice the steps with them. Um, if you still don't had that type of experience, you can always um, hire somebody or get a consultant to teach you and your dance team the basics. Um, talk to your pastor, set aside time for at least classes, maybe on a Saturday for a couple of hours, and trust me, it will um, enhance your dance ministry. One, it's important as a dancer because you're concerned with technique, you're concerned with form, and you're also concerned with formation or how you want to form the dance and how the dancers are coupled and, you know, technique and having a clean and professional look. So myth number three is no dance experience. That is a mistake. That is a lie. You need some type of experience in order to be a praise dance leader. You cannot call yourself a praise dance leader and have no clue on what you're doing and how to move. Um, it's not good to rely on your praise dance team for movements because um, they could just be moving, moving and doing anything and it may not match up with your vision of how you want to create the dance. Um, now if you have dancers within your within your dance team then that's great but you do yourself a disservice if you don't become a student of the craft again if you become a student of the craft you have control on how you want to create the piece and how you want to teach it so again get some dance experience um it doesn't cost much and it doesn't take up a lot of the time like i said maybe once a week once or twice a month that's tip number one tip number two you can study youtube videos um, you can look up and research praise dances and there's a whole slew of choreography and videos with different types of dance songs and different praise dances. Um, number three, you can also Google within YouTube beginning dance steps. It can be modern, it can be ballet, but choose something. Be a student of the craft, okay? So myth number three, no dance experience. You have to have some type of experience in order to dance, okay? Thank you and stay tuned to lesson number four. Take care. Bye-bye.